lot of Georgia counties do not have enough health care workers to serve the people who live there. One problem, the number of primary care physicians. Camila Williams went to one primary care office to talk with two physicians about why more workers are needed. Whether you're sick or going for a routine checkup, you would come here. Hello. Dr. Benjamin Ho and Irene Ho own Family Care of Middle Georgia. Both agree the primary care physician shortage is a shame. That Georgia um, really needs more primary care physicians and more health care, um, more uh, resources to mental health, preventative health. According to the data from the Kaiser Family Foundation, Georgia has only met 40 percent of the care needed. In counties like Peach, Hancock and Macon, they are underserved. Ho says rural counties are missed because medical professionals aren't interested in working in those areas. They're really drawn to the larger cities and what larger cities have to offer. So maybe that's one of the drawbacks. Primary care physicians are the first step to all your medical needs. Ho says they've seen patients outside of Macon too. I ask them, you know, what brings you all the way to Macon from like Milledgeville or Eatonton or even Atlanta where there's a lot more health care professionals. And they say, oh, I love Dr. Ho. <laughs> Getting vaccinations, STD testing, and Medicaid and Medicare visits are some of the reasons for a primary care physician. Dr. Benjamin Ho says they provide health education too. On diet, on exercise, mm -hmm. the importance of stop smoking, and also um, getting along with other people as well, mental health. The Association of American Medical Colleges projects that the U.S. will face a shortage of almost 124,000 physicians by 2023. In Macon, Camila Williams, 13 WMAZ News. If you do not have health insurance, you can visit the Macon Volunteer Clinic or the United Way of Central Georgia for additional health resources and services. And Georgia's governor, Governor Kemp, working to figure out the state's health care worker shortage in April of 2022, he created a task force to look at the retention of the state's health care resources. This month, the commission released its final report. It estimates 3.7 percent of health care workforce will leave each year either retiring or leaving the state. The report says the state's growing demand for health care services won't slow down due to population growth, an aging population, and more diseases among Georgians. Some of the solutions, addressing workplace violence, providing loan forgiveness to get graduates to stay in Georgia, and exploring updates to practice limitations. 